Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Al Pac King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. And now that David I. Pac King Carter is in his second year in the NBA, it's time to go out and try to break records. Now the first record I'm going for, of course, is Wilt Chamberlain's regular season record for total points in a single game. So let's get into it, man. I'm going for 100 plus. Let's go. We about to take this thing to the next level, baby. Come on now, let's get fired up. Here we go. All right, now, as you guys already know, I went 100 plus in the playoffs. I know a lot of people were saying, oh, you didn't break Wilt Chamberlain record. You only broke Michael Jordan's record. I know that. But what I wanted to let you guys know was that I was capable of doing that, which means this game, you're going to get 100 plus. You're going to get that accolade from David Ipock and Carter. Now, I've seen a lot of people break this record over Twitter. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and I just want to join the club. That, that is all. You know, I want to break Wilt Chamberlain's record. And for my next few videos, it's going to be actually me trying to break all different types of records. Now, I know I'm 6'1". I know I can't get a million rebounds like Wilt. I know I can't get to the line 28 times like Wilt. So, I'm going to try to break the assist record, points record, and three points field goals in a single game. Now, you already know inside this game, I'm going to break total points, and I'm going to break most field goals made in a single game. Now, I don't know how I nailed that three-pointer. A lot of people always ask me, do you have dead eye? Do you have corner three? When I shoot threes, I promise you, it's just Kevin Durant's jumper in my will with his shoes you know i got the kd5s on my feet the bhm additions if you don't know what bhm is something's totally wrong with you but i had those on my feet which give me a plus five three point shot and it's kevin durant shot man i don't know what else to say but check me out going in for that crazy dunk now you already know they're going to show the vertical it's not 50 i wish it was but 39 inch vertical is cool with me as long as i can get up off that ground as long as i can stay athletic i'm gonna do what it do now in this match i wanted to just show a lot of my highlights because you guys already seen me score 100 and you knew it was kind of easy for me but what you haven't seen was me actually getting to the foul line I don't know what it is about the second season, you guys, but you have to get ready. If you're not in your second season yet and you haven't made it there, once you get in your second season, fouls are going to get called. You're going to be somewhat of a star now. And me personally, I got simmed right after All-Star Weekend. I didn't get to get my fans up. I didn't get to get my signature shoe. I'm still waiting on my signature shoe if you guys have been asking. But as soon as I get my signature shoe, trust me. You guys will see, <laughs> but I, I'm sorry. I paused when I looked at that dunk. That thing was ferocious. I don't know why they didn't show no type of replay, but it's all good. Now, me on defense, I was running a lot of double teams. I was trying to find out quick ways to get the ball back. I was bumping Westbrook at the um, half-court line. I was bumping Westbrook out of bounds on uh, inbound plays. I was doing whatever it took to get the ball. I was even excessively calling for the ball. I know you guys probably say, why, why are you calling for the ball? Just get on court coach. I don't want to waste my time on that signature skill. I can take the hit on my uh, skill points. Well, not skill points, but VC. I can take the hit because I'm going to get it back with a bunch of highlight plays that I always do. Now, that right there. That was the 49th point. I wanted to pull up for a three, but those guys came with the quick double team, so it wasn't nothing I can do. But what I will say to you guys is, it's something at the end of this video that you will want to see. And the funny thing is, I always say to myself, when I'm going for different accolades and trying to score, I really don't worry about the win. You know, but in this game, I was so determined to score 100 points and get the win. So at the end of this video, you're going to see how it ends. It was crazy. It came down to one of the last shots. And I'm going to tell you now, that three was unreal. But this is the last play before halftime. You see me splitting the defenders for the nice finger roll. Let's get into the halftime, y'all. And we finished one half of basketball. Trailblazers lead by 14. And we'll be back right after this. Now, presented by Sprint. The weekend is in full swing on a Saturday night. Glad to have you along with us. Portland with the lead against the Thunder in Oklahoma City. 
It's been an uneven start to the season. They're hungry for wins, no doubt about it. The captain dominating the first two quarters. After two, he's been piling on the points. He's been on target from everywhere, hitting his deep shots and picking up all his change on the free throw line. And the Thunder, man, they're putting up a fight. And defensively, they've done a good job grabbing rebounds, limiting second chances. For the first half, Russell Westbrook was fantastic. His shooting percentage off the charts right now. He's got the magic touch from the field, no question about it. Now let's get back over to Kevin Harlan and the rest of our crew as the second half gets underway. All right, you guys, now that we're back in the third quarter, I'm going to give you guys the pros and cons for going for 100 points. Now, the pros, of course you break the record. Of course you make it look amazing like that fast break dunk right there. And also... The number one pro for getting 100 points is how bad you make the other team look. It's nothing like the double team coming every single play because they know that you are a scoring machine. Now the cons of getting 100 points is you are fatigued all game long. Which means when you're on defense, you really sag off so much because you don't want to waste energy that you need on the offensive side of the court. Me personally, having to guard Westbrook was out of line. Like, check out that alley oop pass right there, man. I couldn't even catch up. I couldn't get back on defense. I couldn't recover because I'm already tired. Now, I know it may not look like I'm tired. You know, my stamina bar is up, kind of up there. But to tell you the truth, they were subbing me out so much. I had to put on so many points so quickly in the quarter and check out that fall by Westbrook <laughs> yo I don't know why he fell I didn't even do anything I don't I don't know what it is man but we about to jump into the uncontainable game you, you already know who they gonna give it to man they giving it to me I'm putting the points on the board they telling everybody that the captain is here and that he doing what he needs to do to try to get his team to win now, like I said, I don't have posterizer. I don't have any type of acrobat. All I have is finisher and shot creator. I don't know why I am getting to the line so much. Now, back to the cons. I know I said that I was fatigued, but the next con is that your teammates don't get involved in the game and they are not hot. Now, what I mean by this is I am trying to score 100 points, which means Wesley Matthews, Andre Drummond, LaMarcus Aldridge, uh, Batum, they're not doing anything on the offensive side of the court, which means when I need to count on them for big shots at the end of the game, they're null and void. I, I know it was kind of a bad thing to do, and I know I should have believed in my team, but when I got subbed out of the first quarter, I wasn't able to get to my 25-point mark, and I needed to make up every quarter to get an extra couple of points. Now, this right here is when it was coming down to crunch time. This is why I wanted to show a little bit more different plays of me getting to where I wanted to get. But check out when I make this shot. It says I made NBA history, scoring 99 points. I thought Wilt Chamberlain scored 100 points. What's up with that, 2K? What, what are we doing here? Did I break the record? Did I not break the record? Now, check out this play right here, man. I literally shitted myself when that ball got tipped. But I was able to make the shot to send us to overtime. I don't know what I was doing. I was... You know what? I ain't even gonna lie. I was jumping up and down. I was hysterical. I was, I was going crazy in my room. I was like a little kid again. But... And over time, things got real. Now, I'm going to say this. Kevin Durant, that, uh, I don't know if it's heat retention or microwave or whatever it is, but boy, oh boy, he went absolutely ham. Now, I got a defensive three seconds right there. I was cheating in the paint. I was trying to play the passing lanes in the paint. But check out this nonsense right here, man. The ball goes out of bounds. We got 51 seconds, right? Now, this is where you know I went to what I know. I got six assists. Guess what play I call? I call a nice little quick isolation to get the defense drawed in. Now, I'm trying to figure out when they're going to come over. So, as soon as he comes over, I let it go to Batum. And guess what? It's cash, right? Now, you already know what I'm about to do. I'm not scoring anymore. Why score when I could believe in my teammates in this overtime? 
Now, Westbrook did almost have me on skates. I tried to hit him with the backcourt violation, but it didn't work. So, I was trying to play all types of different sets where I would cheat, and that should have been a steal. Sometimes 2K pisses me off. I got this interceptor signature skill for practically nothing. I don't get any passes out of the passing lanes. I barely tip anything. I don't know what it is about that signature skill. I don't know if it's broken or what. Now, I noticed that they were calling MVP for Harden, and I was like, Harden's not even having a crazy game as Kevin Durant, uh, Russell Westbrook. I was like, that's outrageous. But with a few seconds left on the clock, you already know what I was doing, right? Cheating over, and my boy hits the three-pointer. Now, it's about eight seconds left on the clock, right? Check out this bull crap right here. A person that is not even supposed to be on their team anymore hits the dagger and we have no timeouts left on the clock and my heart my dreams all turn into nightmares man i don't know what happened but hey i scored 100 points right <laughs> i guess i could join the mile high club even though i didn't get the win i don't know man i, I was pissed i was pissed i'm not even gonna lie but i do want to thank you guys for watching this video um, all of my new videos are going to be dropping. I told you guys I put out a couple tweets, a couple Facebook status updates. I'm going to be trying to drop a video every day except for Valentine's Day this week. Yes, man. V-Day, I'm going to try to do something special with a special lady. You know, you know how I do. But <laughs> this is IKC signing out. Check out that 1,450 skill points right there. That's hard work. I think I need to cut my beard on that one. Nah, I'm playing. I ain't cutting my beard. <laughs> But I'm going to see y'all in the next video. We're about to hop into the press conference. Peace. Well, congratulations on breaking the NBA record for points scored in a game. That's a pretty incredible feat. You have now surpassed some of the legends in the history of this league. How does it feel to be in their company? Well, thank you so much, first of all. I feel like I'm on top of the world right now. It's hard to describe. It was just one of those days where my shots were hitting. I felt invincible out there.